What's up everyone, Jay here with Solo IGO. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Uh, today we have Egg Sister again. Um, bringing it back because of how popular it is right now. Um, we revamped the deck ourselves, so it's different than the last time we showcased it. Um, so we'll get straight into it. First off, we have three Martha. She's definitely still mandatory. Probably gonna be mandatory as long as the deck is around. She's the best one, so there'd have to be a ridiculous power creep on Existers in order to make her not playable, but definitely out of player. Mandatory three of. Um, and then with her comes Ellis. Ellis is not bad in her own right um, because she can special summon herself out if you control an Exister monster. But she's also mandatory for both Martha and Stella when it comes to Vadis, and then she's mandatory for Martha in general by Martha's effect, so you have to play three Ellis. Um, really good sister, awesome. One of the classic ones from Grand Creators. She used to be the best one until Martha came around and powered the elements. Uh, we are playing only two Stella now because Stella is no longer necessary as a three of because of uh, the spirits, but you still wanna play two of her because she can summon one from your hand, as well as, like I said, she's mentioned by Ellis, so. You gotta play two of her. Uh, one that we were able to cut down on was Sophia to two. These are pretty much the standard ratios now, pretty much accepted by the community, so play two Sophia and one Irene. We are always playing one Irene, but you have to play her because of Vadis for Sophia. And yeah, then Sophia is just really good. She allows you to draw one card as well. The Grand Creators Collector's Rare is there. Uh, onto the Spells and Traps for our sisters, and then we'll get into the Spirits. Uh, we got three packs. You have to play, it's the Rota, it's the E-Tally. Just don't game yourself by paying 100 life points when time's about to run out. Definitely did that one time. <laughs> but yeah, uh, packs, gotta play it. Helps you play around stuff, it's quick play. Uh, just really cool. And then for the traps, we're playing two of each. We got two Vadis. Uh, allows you to summon out two from deck, but you have to mention each other, so that's why we have to play the ratios we do with that, the Exister monsters. And it allows you to go into XYZ's on your opponent's turn. You usually you want to chain it when they're actively moving something out of the grave. Then you get your free monsters. Pretty good. Um, and then two Returnia. This is our removal piece, other than Magnifica and Mikaelis. Um, just really good. Not much to say about it. Um, if you've already XYZ some of that turn, you get to do an additional banish, so it's really nice. Uh, double banish is never, never a bad thing. And for the spirits, uh, here's the OG, our Atama, but it's because of the new one out of Cyberstorm Access, Sakatama, and these were all reprinted as Ultras in uh, Battles of Legend Monsters Revenge, so now we have those. But it's because of Sakatama that our Atama is good again for the Existers. Uh, basically gets you out a, this one adds, this one summons, uh, basically gets you out another XYZ, usually Cas Patel, to go into Martha if you didn't hard draw Martha. Otherwise, you can do other lines and you can still bring out Martha because Martha can summon itself if you control either no monsters or only XYZ monsters. So that's why they synergize. You don't need three Sakatama. Uh, you just want the searcher. It's not bad to draw either, but yeah, in general, we don't have enough space to play three, so why would you play three? Not necessary either. Uh, this is a big reason why a lot of cards aren't necessary as, at higher ratios in this deck. Um, Pot of Prosperity. If this card was hit, this deck would have really been struggling before the spirits came around. Um, but luckily it's not. Uh, we have a lot of going second cards, so this also allows us to dig for those. And then Martha, of course, if you didn't draw anything, literally. Uh, banishing six to get something you need is much better, even though our extra deck isn't the most flexible, but it is flexible. Not as much as, you know, like Flunder and some other decks, but definitely if you don't draw anything, you, you have to do it, so. Uh, three Ash, um, playing it for the branded, playing it for generic stuff. This is less of a teched out for the format build and more of just a generic good build for your locals. Um, otherwise, you can play things like Lance uh, or Book of Moons, stuff like that, the book cards. Um, yeah, because Lance also protects your Magnifica against things like Regeki, Dark Ruler No More, um, which is something that we hard lose to sometimes. But we're, we have enough Saki cards like Dimension Shifter in the main uh, that it doesn't really, it's not gonna hurt us as much because we're really uh, geared to stop the opponent as well. But if they have it, they have it. And post side, we do play those things to shut off Dark Roll and all that, like Solemn Judgment. Uh, so we have Infinite Impermanence, another good generic card. And then for the Board Breakers and the last five cards of the deck, 
We have three evenly matched. This deck is much better going first deck than it is going second deck. Um, there's just no question about it. It's it's got all the interruptions, plus it's got the traps. Traps inherently have to be set before they can be activated. So Vadis and uh, Returnia do nothing on turn one, so you have to set them up on turn one, so they're available by turn two. Um, so evenly matched, and then Dark Ruler. It was either this or Ghost and Match, but because of the fact that I believe this is a better going first deck already, um, I wanted cards for going second, and we play the Gozen in the side. Uh, we play Thrust in the side. So yeah. Uh, we'll get straight into the extra deck. Again, make those tech choices like Lance and all that based off of your own locals. Or if you're going to a big event, I would definitely uh, play cards like that based off what you think the meta what it is going to be. Because that really worked out uh, recently for Egg Sister. All right, so we got three Mekaelis in the extra deck. Um, absolutely mandatory, uh, just insane card. Banishes the turn it summons, so if you're going first, don't try and ban. If you're new to the deck, you can't banish uh, after you pass turn. It's only banishes the turn it's summoned, but you can still get your add for a spell or trap by detaching, so. But yeah, you have to play it at three of. Um, there's really just not enough cards anyways to play. Maybe bump it down later or something else later if more cards come out, but. Three is perfectly fine. And two Magnifica. Um, we have them in the Starlight Rare. Uh, just insane boss monster. Attacks twice, banishes, returns back to ba uh, summon Mikaelis and banish again. Uh, you gotta play at least two of her. Don't play one. Three is probably too cloggy. Uh, then two Cast Patel. It's the Rota. Um, yeah, like I said, if you don't draw Martha, but you do draw the Spirits, you can go into Cast Patel because it only requires two level four monsters. A lot of these don't even mention, in fact, I believe all, none of them mention Existers. They just mention two level fours. Uh, the thing about Martha, though, is that it does lock you in Existers, Existers so uh, the deck locks itself in that regards. But at least Konami was smart to not put um, mandatory Exister requirements for the extra deck so that you know different stuff could be played down the line. And then we have two Asophil and one Jabreen. Uh, you could play two Jabreen, one Asophil, like the list from the weekend was, but for what I'm going for, I think Gas feels better as a two of. Maybe switch it up down the road, but never really had an issue with either one of these coming up more than once too often. So, yep, one's a negate and one's a compulse. You have the inner archetype Abyss Dweller, uh, just really good. Good cards. And then for the monsters that cannot be summoned, uh, if you're Martha Locked, but are just mandatory in XYZ decks right now, uh, you got Exciton Knight, uh, Baguska and Divine Arsenal, Double A Zeus, Sky Thunder. Uh, just mandatory in every, every XYZ deck. And then these are two generic good level fours. Got your Floodgate and got your Oh Crap button, another Oh Crap button. So, yep, you gotta play them. Uh, there's really not much else to play. You can play like the Utopia Package, I guess, or um, Daybreaker, Charmers, but um, I prefer these cards right now. I, I changed it up from the last list. And then Donner. Donner works with the um, what's it called? The Spirits right now. Two monsters of different types. Allows you to pop. And the Underworld Goddess, great goss, uh, boss monster for the links. Um, just really good for taking, you could link with your opponent's monsters. So just really good for going for game. Um, that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. That was Exorcister for the July 2023 format. Uh, we'll be back again next month with whatever changes we feel are necessary. But Till then, like, subscribe, comment, do all the good stuff. We'll see you next time. This is Jay. Peace out.